Just want to say a quick good morning. It's 8.25, got coffee. We'll be taking a shower and then giving mum a call. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Okay, guys, we're on our way out. It's 10.48, just had a chat with mum. We're off to Jacheco's in Harrison. Ash picked up an order there while I was chatting with mum. So let's see what this store's like. It's a, like a Balducci's, I think, but bigger. Yeah. So we'll see. Okay guys, that was interesting. <laughs> we love Wegmans. Can I tell you how much, look at me, I'm like a... a I feel like we just went to a race. A marathon. It's, it doesn't flow, that store doesn't flow at all. I'm sorry for all the people that love to check out. I'll do it again, but it has to be on a weekday. Yeah, not a because let me tell you something, the people that are, not the, the workers, except one, <laughs> now she's on my list, but the people that shop there are so flipping rude. I'm trying to reach over the, my trolley to put something in or Ashley to scan it and this lady's trying to reach over me she's like excuse me I'm like give me a minute and that, and that, I had to and say something the just is looking over our shoulders to get into the fridge we're looking at yeah so I move out of the way because I'm annoyed and I just look at him and he just walks up without saying a word yeah and then another woman right in the very beginning trapped me in the produce section with her trolley I'm like well those are cool. Oh my god, they got big props everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, can I get out, please? And she just gave me a dirty look, and then she snapped at Ashley later on. I go, oh, that's the one, Ash. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me. I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to move around. And Ashley, you know, can around we just my say, bump. she's pregnant, guys. So pushing her into shelves. No, you're gonna have me to deal with. You, you're very rude people. Oh, went off. Did I not do any? No, I did. For some reason, you went off, but you're still on. If that makes any sense the picture went off um yeah no, no. The, the one guy we did ask he goes hi i'm like i'm sorry can i bother you because don't be sorry and he actually walked with us to look for things that we didn't he couldn't find it but then we ended up finding at least one of them afterwards so that was good he did find one thing for you that we couldn't figure it out yeah. but you see when you go on white ones it tells you what aisle and what even what side and even if it's not the right side you you know you're in the right aisle at least so just because everything's so out of order. I'm used to going produce and then that section over there and yeah. then I go all the way to the last aisle and you just walk You walk up the aisles back Today to I the frozen. Like they were like, we were back and forwards because you couldn't find, plus they're under construction, which doesn't help. Yeah, and um, said that they're moving things around in yeah. there. So hopefully eventually they'll put the aisles in, but yeah, we'll do it during the week as a fill-in, but and we won't- smaller ones. Smaller orders, but we won't do it as, and luckily, and you can tell that they obviously know that because they gave us two hours, gave Ash two hours to shop. I've never seen two hours to shop. No, it took me an hour. And took us an hour. For 50 items when it usually takes like 20 minutes. Yeah, so at least, and then you can't get, there's no self checkouts. Oh, and then we're leaving. I was helping the guy bag because he wasn't giving me, I said, can I help bag? And he's like, yeah, oh, okay. As we're leaving, miss, miss, two employees running after me. He didn't get, I don't think he got the drinks on the bottom. Yes, he did. I said, I put them up first. Do you think she said, oh, sorry. No, she just turned, she went out and turned around and left. No, now you've got everyone looking at me like I'm trying to steal your water. Mm -hmm. But luckily the woman was very nice with Ashley. She was kind of giving us tips on things if we couldn't find something. So. It was the one who just missed. Oh, okay, we're gonna go back now.
highway. I hope you'll be able to see them, but all the trees look so pretty, the colors. It's a little more colorful up here, so. And we're only 20 minutes away. Okay guys, as we got back to Wegmans, Ash picked up one right away, so we're off to deliver. Order number three is 2.32. Seems to be a little better batches today. Even though Wegmans is very busy, I don't think I'll ever complain again after this morning. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's not chaos and busy, it's just busy. Anyway, um, we are off to deliver to Rybrook, so we won't be much too long. to one of my other favorite townhouse areas, the Arbors. See, something like this would suit me because they do maintenance. The only thing is you have maintenance fees every month, but being a single person, when it snows, I wouldn't have to worry about doing the snow plowing and stuff. any of these are for rent I think they're all for sale and they are expensive because when I worked at a real estate office I used to see all the prices and you can have dogs because I've seen dogs because eventually I'd like to get a Roxy dog huh? and, you can play tennis. and you can play tennis if you want to but there's only one court so if someone's playing already it's all right I'll give up my turn <laughs> I don't think I could play tennis anymore. Not with this back anyway. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> I like the lames in here though. Treetop and whatever. The only thing with these kind of places though, even though you own them, there is ways you can and can't decorate the outside. But I guess they doesn't apply because they've just got toilet paper all over their tree, which I think is supposed to be uh, spider webs. It just all looks like toilet paper. <laughs> Brush hollows where my friend Sue lived. And they're really nice inside. This was years ago, though. This was in the 80s that we went in. Okay, we're heading back to Wegmans. Just picked up a job to go to Scarsdale. It's a smaller one, so that's good. So we're going back to shop. It is 2.50. It's nice that Sunday's keeping us busy so far. Yeah. So we just delivered on this street, lots of steps. Now we're going to head back to Wegmans. We are in Scarsdale. So Ash and I just both picked up one. I got one in Rye, Ash got one in Greenwich. So we're heading back to Wigman's. We're doing Greenwich, we're delivering Ash's first and then we're gonna go deliver mine to Rye. This guy in front needs to go back to Pennsylvania. And driving school, because he hasn't got a clue what to do. So. Yeah, our regular house that we've done loads of times, twice in one day. Do you remember that day? Hey okay, guys, we just delivered. Yeah, I know, it went on automatically, so I'll just leave it. Um, we just delivered mine to Harrison. We're now gonna go deliver Ashley's. I wish I could show you these homes because we're in a gorgeous neighborhood, but it's too dark. It is 6.35. Ashley's is going to Scarsdale, and then we're going to go get Luna some food and go home. So we're just a little here, and it's fuzzy, but you get the drift. These are the big houses. 
the round, yeah. Remember we were here with all the lights on it that time. Yeah. I've got this gorgeous one. Okay guys, we are shattered, aren't we Ash? How many? I did four, did you do five? Or did we both do four? We did either eight or nine batches between us. And eight. We were all over the place. The two that, the last two that we both did at the same time were both larger orders. So I don't know how many bags we've carried up steps and long driveways today, but my arms are killing me. <laughs> we did very well. Um, it was a good day. This is what I wish the days were like all the time, because then there wouldn't be any issue. But um, yeah, we, d we did well. So we've had our dinner. We haven't been home that long. I've uh, been home probably about 40 minutes. Took Luna out. You can't even see Luna. Can you see her? Is she? She's right. <laughs> the There's a baby face. That was the slowest head turn. <laughs> She's like, don't bug me, I'm tired. I came home, took her out. She did a business. She's very good in Ashley's room today. Um, considering we left here, the vlog says 10 to 11, and we didn't get back till 7.30. So she was on her own a good eight and a half hours. So I'm very impressed with her, aren't we? Yeah. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to love and leave you for this evening. I hope everybody had a brilliant, brilliant Sunday, whatever it is you did today. Hope it was a good one, and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Take care, guys, and stay safe.